And she was a tall girl, and I was, like myself, a tall girl. First cinematic crush. It would have been probably Legolas. Orlando Bloom was a, a big, like, where I was like, wow, this guy's perfect. But it was Legolas, particularly, you know? So, like, pure and fine, I don't know. And like sometimes it's not like making movies or everyone's sort of pampering you. Like sometimes you're just left in the hallway. Oh. It's kind of like. <laughs> but there is a, a bathtub scene. <laughs> Growing up as the baby, I was definitely spoiled. I'm still spoiled. I've never not been spoiled. And I plan to be spoiled for the rest of my life. And I like would walk through a spider web and I was like. <laughs> so much for having me. I'm very excited. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. First celebrity crush. Brad Pitt. <laughs> no, that was heavy. You saw him and you go, that's a movie That's star? a beautiful man. <laughs> <laughs> There's no denying it. I've done some movies where it gets to the point where it's like, he goes to the mall, shirtless. And you're like, why? <laughs> why would you possibly, like, Well, need because it? look at you, that's why. <laughs> yeah. Um. yeah, I was a pretty nervous kid. <laughs> Everything worries me. Um, um, hey, man, of that. Uh, hey, man. Um, um. <laughs> Are you peeing? <laughs> oh, it's an entirely new prosthetic. This one actually pees. <laughs> yeah, Jacob's a. I, I consider him a, a really dear friend, and I and I I, I love working with him. Renee, you were so right. He is so baby girl. I know, that's what I said. He's so baby girl. Me, I'm a, I'm a baby girl. Uh. I searched for the perfect bandana. I needed to be old, but not, you know, like super used and gross. Um, and I found this in Paris. It's also fun to play with. You know, if you get nervous. How you like your eggs cooked in the morning? I don't. Please don't cook my eggs. I'll make my own breakfast. Oh, it's... They want to like, be a, like, um... Help me in that regard. Okay. Um. Thanks. <laughs> thanks so much. I thought they were genuinely wondering how I like to have my breakfast. Tote bags are also expensive now. I got one at an art gallery the other day. It cost fifty-four dollars. But I didn't. Like, yes, I paid for it because I didn't know at the time. And then they were like, "That'd be fifty-four dollars," and I can't really. I just get so nervous. I'm like, "Of course it would be." Yeah, I'll definitely pay for that. That sounds about right. It's ridiculous, you know, I was too nervous to be like, for a tote bag? Um, like, I don't even wear that one because I'm like, disgusted with myself. He's a very talented actor. Thanks. That's so nice of you. I really appreciate that. I don't like that you're crying about me being husband material, though. That seems toxic. I feel like it's more than a dark psychological thriller. What word, phrase, would you use to describe it? Fun. You would do this thing where you would grab people's phones and just take selfies with their phones? Yeah. You just grab a phone and just... Yeah, like you don't, but I don't move it because I don't want to be invasive. So I, so I do... Yeah, I'm just taking a picture of these flowers. They just look really nice. Is that like a, a diary or more like a dossier? Um, it's more just somewhere to keep all my thoughts together, otherwise they might run wild and disappear, and then I won't be able to get them back. <laughs> you zip it up, it comes up to right about here. It doesn't go like... further. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, okay, here we go. I've never seen a TikTok. The only okay. TikTok I ever saw was like uh, this golden retriever stealing um, like these crackers. Now he's in that Jack Harlow song. Damn. Damn. Come on now. I don't even know what that means, but that's, that's awesome. Saltburn, um, I have to be honest, Turned it on, got really scared, oh, yeah. turned it off. Where did you draw from for this character? You got scared of me and Soulbane? I, I got a little scared of the movie in general. <laughs> Why? More like Jacob. Oh, lordy. Am I the first person to say that? Nope. First person today? Nope. First person this hour? Nope. Euphoria, uh, do we know when that's starting to film again? Or I don't know, do you know? So, uh, you might know me from Saltburn. Uh, not from C... <laughs> Thanks. Not from seeing the film, uh, just from seeing the TikToks. Do you want to smell your own candle? This is Jacob Lordy's bath water. <laughs> and I kind of realized for the first time, I was like, that is a lot of snakes. Like, yeah. they're not kidding. There's a lot of snakes. No, but I got to ask you quickly about Kissing Booth 2. Sure. 
What can you tease? We're very excited. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Nothing? Nothing at all, yeah. 6'5", and was that always a thing when you were growing up and everyone say, oh, yeah. so tall? Yeah, I was born 6'5". <laughs> growing up, were you an Elvis fan or did you? No, the, the most I knew of Elvis was in Lilo and Stitch. I think these characters bring those parts of ourselves to light. Wow. Did you like that? Could you both describe the film in three words? Sexy. Proper sexy. Like, <laughs> proper, proper, proper sexy. There's berries in it, yeah. I had to, like, train myself to be good at small talk. I was not, that was not my thing. I just sort of will walk away. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm in that phase. That's an, I'm in the nice phase of, like, if well. you act strange enough, people won't, like, <laughs> yeah. He's odd, and you're like, yeah, yeah I'll get away with yeah, it if I'm odd. Yeah, you get away with odd. <laughs> hmm. My first nude scene. <laughs> you're a really talented guy. Oh, leave it yeah, you're a really talented, handsome guy. Yes. Three boiled eggs this morning was nice. Three boiled eggs? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Machine. <laughs> My mum told me to write something, um, and I didn't. Uh, so now I'm a little bit like, shit. I have this uh, poster of Heath that I take with me everywhere and I make everyone that comes into my house sort of give him a, a fist bump and say g'day to him. Obviously the movie is about Priscilla, mm -hmm. that's the title, but like what else is going on in the movie? I mean it really is a, about Priscilla because I kind of shy away from advice, I'm kind of I yeah? like being told sort of what to do. Are you a Scorpio? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, oh it's a... I'm a Cancer. Which, oh you're a Cancer, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, look, grab. I'm a little bit more gawky and awkward than he is. So. Oh, are you? <laughs> right, yeah, so my dog is my best friend in the whole world. I love that dog. My dog will smile at me when she is happy and frown when I leave. And that kind of relationship with something that kind of looks like a Disney character is pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, it's, um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I just got a vision when you said it, but I, but if you want, if you want to continue, no, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's. <laughs> Who's phone's ringing? That's your phone. My phone's on my phone. No, that's your phone. What do you think this is? This is Hollywood. I used to be so sensitive about my height. I basically got told that I was too tall to be an actor. So do all of those people. Nice. So yeah, I was super nervous about telling people my height. So I used to try to pass as like. 6'2 or 6'3, but I'm actually 6'5. I've had a watch with me, you know, for as long as I can remember, since I was small. But it's not so much sort of like the timekeeping aspect. I like the weight of it and I like the way that it feels. I don't play for money, I play for the thrill of it. I had a, this, uh, this silver necklace, and the thing is I have to, I have to buy it myself. You know, it's kind of, uh, I wouldn't say OCD because it feels more spiritual than that, but my theory is, with having so many books on me all the time, is you never know when you're going to end up in a hospital waiting room. And when I feel uncomfortable in social situations, you know, you look busy if you're chewing. My next essential is a, a Lamy fountain pen. I've gotten to a point where I really can't do script work or anything without one. I can't just do it with, a, you know, a regular Bic pen. These are the refills uh, of the ink. I love the way the colors look when they all start to bleed like this. People say that dogs don't smile and if they smile they're in pain, but this dog literally has dimples. When you wake up in the morning and you say, good morning Angel, you give her a little, you know, a little thing and she, she comes and she wiggles up and her face curls up in the corners. She's my best friend. She's my confidant. I run lines with her. That dog's my rock. She's so special to me. Saltburn has been described in so many different ways. You know, some people have described it as wicked and lascivious and my favorite, sweaty. But how would you describe it in three words? Um, that, that's three pretty great words. In my life so far, I've played pretty stiff characters. <laughs> um, so it was nice to be able to, because I'm not very stiff myself. I'm quite um, uh, loose and floppy. So I was watching the interview that you did with Coleman Domingo in Variety, and you were talking about how much, you know, uh, when you say things in the state. And well, what was in the notebook for Felix? <laughs> I go on the rides and stuff, but I'm quite awful at rides. I get sick. <laughs> you get sick on rides? Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. I was like, no, I'm like a no. nervous boy. What are you nervous about? I actually had a crush on you when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> truly, truly. I just...